You've heard the compelling science behind our nutrition approach at Berta, and now I want to share with you what a day in the life might look like as a patient with us here at Berta. I am so glad you're here to learn more, but first let me introduce myself. My name is Dr. Britt Volk. I am a registered dietitian, scientist, and health coach here at Verda. I've researched ketogenic diets for more than a decade and have seen firsthand the incredible impact they have on both metabolic health and well-being. As a health coach, I get to translate the science of Verda into everyday real-world application. Like, oh, I don't know, what do I eat every day? Which, let's face it, is a pretty big deal. So let's get started. Here at Verda, there is no calorie counting. Calories matter, but you won't be counting them. And you get to enjoy real foods, tasty foods, until you're satisfied. So you're not walking around hungry all day long, which is a real game changer for many. Because for so long, we have been told that the only way to lose weight and to gain control of our metabolic health is to restrict calories and be hungry. Am I right? So that's not the case because it's the foods that you eat that matter. At Verda, our goal is to fix your metabolism through nutrition, and you don't need to exercise to do that. And frankly, when your joints ache, your energy is low, and you're carrying around an additional 50 pounds, it's downright insulting to say, throw on your running shoes and pound the pavement. And besides, exercise isn't a great weight loss tool. Now, is exercise great for so many reasons, like cardiovascular health, strength, mood, and more? Absolutely. And we'll work with you on implementing exercise, but only if and when you're ready. Okay, so now let's walk through what a day might look like for you as a Verta patient. Now, I know that each of you watching probably has your very own unique schedule and life things going on. So try to think about what it might look like for you. So. The first thing you'll do when you wake in the morning is step on your cellularly connected scale, which will automatically transmit your weight to the Verda app. If you don't love looking at your weight every day, and really, let's face it, who does? That's okay, you don't even have to look down. The important thing is that you step on daily so that we can track your weight over time. It's not the day-to-day -day that's important because weight fluctuates normally based on variations in body water. But those daily weights allow you and your coach to be able to track your weight and progress over time. Okay, you've stepped on the scale, and for the example of this day, let's say you're on insulin. And while you're waiting for your pot of coffee to brew, you test your blood sugar with a simple finger stick test. This is one of the biomarkers that you will enter into the app that will allow you and your care team to know how your body is responding to Berta, as well as identify when dietary and medication changes are needed. Now notice that you can see a single entry point, as well as your progress over time. So whether five days, five months, or five years on Verda, you will be able to visualize your entire journey. And speaking of your journey, don't worry. The app will walk you through what to do and when to do it. So what biomarkers to test and the frequency of which to test which will all change over time. And perhaps that coffee you brewed that we just talked about is maybe all you want for breakfast that morning. Because remember, if you're not hungry, you don't need to eat. Now, what you put in that coffee matters. So think things like heavy cream, half and half, unsweetened almond milk, or even just plain black coffee. Now, if you're hungry, then eat. Whether you want a hot meal of scrambled eggs, with or without a side of sausage or bacon, or perhaps something a bit quicker like a few scoops of full fat Greek yogurt with some berries and almonds, you can choose something tasty and satisfying that won't leave you hungry a few hours later. After breakfast, you drive to work, and when you get there, you realize you have a message from your health coach. Now remember that blood sugar you entered while your coffee was brewing? Well, let's say it was 110, which happens to be a significant improvement from the prior few days. Well, in that time that you ate breakfast and drove to work, your care team has already communicated about your glucose improvement. So your health coach tells you that your Verta physician would like you to reduce your insulin by say 10 units. Now our goal is to safely reduce your medications by tracking these improvements. After all, that's what this is all about, right? Reducing and eliminating medications so that you can regain control of your health. All right, so you've had a medication reduction and you're feeling pretty good about that. 
Then you put in a few hours at work, and you and a few coworkers decide to try a new nearby restaurant for lunch. You open that menu, and if you're new on Verta, you might be a bit overwhelmed at first when you look through all of your choices. So you text your coach a picture of the menu just to give you a few ideas. Now I promise ordering off of a menu becomes so easy once you learn a few simple tips like swap that potato for, or french fries for double vegetables and put a side of butter on that. On Verda, fat is your primary source of fuel and so that butter is energy. And if you like steak, try topping that steak with butter and I promise you will never go back. But we definitely understand that when you're new to Verda, you might want or need a little bit extra hand-holding, so your coach is going to be there to do just that. Now you head back to work after lunch for a bit, and when you are ready to take a break, you check the app and see that you have a video waiting for you. We know that people learn in different ways, like videos here, written blogs, and infographics, and we provide all of these in the resource center. And when you have a question after reading through all of these or watching the videos, any questions you have about what you've seen or heard, you can reach out to your coach with questions at any time because we are always here to help. After watching that video, you realize you're getting a bit hungry, so you decide to grab a quick snack. Whether salted mixed nuts from your desk drawer or something from the refrigerator like veggies and a high fat dressing. Remember, none of this low fat, fat free or reduced fat because fat is going to be your primary fuel source and is going to keep you satisfied. After working just a bit longer, you pack up your things and head home for the day. And if you're like me, you might want to just grab something quick on the way home, even something fast like Chipotle. Just skip the rice and beans, ask for a bowl or a salad, and now you get to enjoy the sour cream, the cheese, the guacamole, all of those full fat foods that you were previously told to avoid. Or perhaps you want to make something that you found in the recipe section of the resource center, whether takeout or a home-cooked meal, you can enjoy a satisfying and delicious dinner of real foods after a long day at work. What you see here contains 30 grams of total carbohydrates. Now don't worry too much about that right now. We'll review this once on Verda and your health coach will certainly help you through all of this. But the majority of your carbohydrates initially will come from non-starchy vegetables, some nuts and seeds if you choose, some full fat dressings and dips and some deli meats also contain a few grams of carbohydrates, but that's it. Now compare this to the more than 300 grams of carbohydrates that one might consume on a standard American diet, and it's quite a dramatic difference. The reason? Well, for one, you're changing your body's metabolism to burn fat instead of carbohydrates for energy. When you restrict your carbohydrates to this level, 30 grams, you can quickly gain control of your blood sugars which allows you to quickly gain control of your hunger and cravings and you are on your way to gaining control of your metabolic health. Now we're still in that 24 hour period. So before going to bed, you decide to check out the online community because maybe you're looking for a recipe of something that's tasty to take to a party this upcoming weekend. You wanna show your friends and family just how tasty getting healthy can be. Our patients love the online community for not only recipe sharing, but also for peer support. Your care team will always be here to support you, but there is nothing like getting the support from the people that are going through the exact same thing you are at the same time that you are. So people really love the community to support one another. When you have control of your blood sugars, your hunger, and your cravings, and you decide you want a little something sweet, you have plenty of options. You simply learn to modify the ingredients, like swapping out sugar for a sugar substitute, like erythritol or xylitol or perhaps stevia. Or maybe you swap out that white flour for almond flour or coconut flour. Perhaps a small piece of dark chocolate or berries with heavy whipping cream, which both tend to be some pretty popular options. So if you'd like to add something sweet, know that desserts are not off the table. And if all of this sounds and looks great, we are definitely interested in helping you with the next steps toward getting started. However, please, please do not get started without the supervision of your Verda care team. Let me just describe a scenario for you where you're taking a medication that lowers your blood sugar 
and you're making dietary changes that also lower your blood sugar. This is what we call the double whammy. And you frankly could have blood sugars that get dangerously low. We want to avoid this from happening. And with the help of your care team who can safely and effectively monitor medication and dietary changes, we can make sure this does not happen. So again, please do not make any changes until you're on the app and you are given the green light by your care team. So as a patient, as you enter your biomarkers into the app regularly, you have that continuous monitoring from your care team, as well as the unlimited support from both your care team and the online patient community. You have resources in the resource center like recipes, guides, and videos to make sure that you are as successful as you can be. So I look forward to hopefully seeing you in the app soon.